<laughs> That's skills. <laughs> So one of the things that we get a lot of questions about is how we came about with our GTFO plan. And what we realized as we went through this is that a lot of people have no plan. And your GTFO plan doesn't have to be about sailing the world or buying a boat, but it does have to be what is your plan when you retire? You've worked your entire life more or less. What are you going to do when it comes time to hang up your hat and work and what's your purpose? <laughs> so. We got started basically by putting together a spreadsheet. We started out with just one tab on our spreadsheet of our finances. Since then, we've grown to probably a dozen or more tabs. As we keep adding, not just about finances, but some of the tasks we want to do as we transition to selling the house, selling all our belongings, and moving on to a boat. Yeah. So for today, we'll just talk kind of more of the financial piece. So a couple of things that are really helping us and our plan is Dennis has served, well, by the time we retire, 30 years, and that's going to be our passive monthly income. And then Anne has been maxing out her 401k. We have an amazing amount of equity, and that will pay for our future boat. Yeah, so a real quick disclaimer, we're, we're not CPAs, we're not financial planners, we're not experts in any sense. But as we started digging into the finances, we realized a lot of a lot more opportunities of things that we can scrimp and save, cut back, or just cut out altogether. Uh, so we made sacrifices along the way. Other things that we do is we tend to cook at the house. We don't go out to eat, it gets pricey. And if we do yeah. go out, we still do that. Whether it's a date night or we take the family yeah. out or something like that. But, you know, don't, don't buy the alcohol at the restaurant. Yeah, it's like 50% of your bill. Easily. We, we admit it. We pre-game before yeah. we go down yeah, to dinner. before we go out. One of the apps, I think you found it first, or uh, it's called Acorn. It's a roundup app. So every time you make a purchase, it just rounds that up to the nearest dollar and deposits that into a, a mutual fund. And you really don't miss it. So it's basically an apartment. And we've done some Airbnb and we rent it out. So that money then that we get from that, we turn around and put it right back into a mutual fund so that it will continue to grow stock market going uh, faster than a savings account or a deposit or just sitting in a checking account. So that way it'll grow in the next couple of years. We also got rid of one of our new cars and got a really old free car. <laughs> And again, it's a sacrifice. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles. It's nothing fancy. You can kind of have some um, But it's a sacrifice. <laughs> yeah. And it, it saves us a lot of money. It's amazing when you look at your spending, how much little bits you spend every month that really you don't need to. If you just take some time and think about it. Even with purchases, you know, uh, it's really easy. I know Dennis makes fun of me in my Amazon shopping. <laughs> But it's really easy. It's sometimes you put it in your cart and you just take some time to think about it. And it's I try to click, it's click, it's click, it's click. Yeah, yeah. It's so easy just to spend, 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 thinking you need all these things. But a lot of times I try to take a purchase and think, is this something we need on our future boat, or is this something that's just like short term? Do we can we do without it? And a lot of times we can do without it, and that really saves money. Our spreadsheet has other pieces of assets to it. We've included how to make a passage in the Panama Canal because we've got some good articles that uh, attest to that. We've mm -hmm. gotten budget information from other cruisers uh, that's helped us formulate a budget that we think fits what we're going to want to need in our full-time liveaboard status. Yeah. So we at least have a snapshot of can we get there from here. Right. Uh, and we've done the same with pricing out boats that we think we want, we like, you know, yeah. and, and how do we get there from here. Even scenarios, we have a bunch of scenarios. If we bought a boat for this much, what would that do to our bottom line? 
themselves, we want to try out different sized boats. So how do you do that? We got to get on a boat and live on that boat, sail yeah. that boat. So saving all this money is freeing up that cash so that we can go do a, a one week sail, a two week sail on different type boats so we have a better idea of what we want to yeah. get when the time comes. Anyway, we'll talk about a lot more things that we've done in our planning in later episodes, so please subscribe to our channel. Channel DTFO plan. But our boat's going to be just like this. Oh. <laughs>